Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net and this tutorial is on how to assign static IP address to a computer in the network. I've read many articles before and a lot of them says just to go into your network properties and assign an I and a static IP address. Well, this is a bit wrong because if you assign a static IP address to your computer in the network, you have to also tell the router to save that IP address for that computer because if you don't then when you turn off the computer the comp the router will assign that static IP address that you assign to your computer to a different computer in the network therefore when you turn it on it might create a IP uh, conflict in the network so this involves two parts the router configuration I'm using Linksys router and the uh, computer configuration so let's start before we do this we need to know the name of the PC so we'll go to start right click properties right click computer properties and we have the name of the computer I I'm using Windows 7 then we go to start in the search we type run click on run and then type the word CMD click OK and here type the word IP config now we need to know the IP address that has been given to us already by the router now in this tutorial I'm gonna use the same IP address that is given to me by the router and use it as an static IP address you can always change it in the future if you want but in this tutorial I'm gonna use this IP address subnet mask and the default gateway so so I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and then log into the router. So I'm going to Internet Explorer and type the 192.168 provided to me by my uh, router's manual, Linksys router, and then the username and password. Click OK and then I'm logged in. Here I'm gonna go to Setup basic setup scroll down where it says DHCP server DHCP reservation here on the DHCP reservation I'm gonna assign I'm gonna tell the router to save that IP address for my computer so as you can see here I got my clients the IP address and the MAC addresses and Miguel PC and the one and two that one six eight that one the 100 IP address that we saw earlier and the MAC address now I'm gonna go ahead and select Miguel PC and I'm gonna add it to the reserve client so here I'm in the clients reserved Miguel PC the IP address see now the router now I'm telling the router to save that IP address for Miguel PC I'm gonna go ahead and save changes close close here right here now my computer has static IP address for tutorial purposes I'm gonna add a static IP address to my computer as well now I'm gonna make sure that I have the uh, IP address assigned you never know so in the search click start search in the search type run and then click on run type the word CMD click OK and then type the word IP config and click enter now as you can see I still have the 1 and 2 that 168 that 1 that 100 and this is great for remote desktop connection assigning a static IP address in the network this is really good for remote desktop just a little note I'm gonna go ahead and close now go to start go to control panel and go to network and sharing center go to change adapter settings right click local area connection click properties and then click on internet protocol I'm sorry version 4 then click properties and here you can assign the static IP address to your computer now in my case is the 192.168.1.100 and my subnet mask is a class C
and the default gateway as we saw earlier is the 192.168.1.1 and in my DNS I'm gonna type the same uh, IP address of the default gateway in my case because the that the router is the one who assigns the IP address to me so I'm gonna click OK close close here now I'm gonna go to the internet make sure that I still have access to the internet and there we go we have internet access now we have properly configured the router and we have properly configured the computer now if you would have configured only the computer for a static IP address you might end up uh, with trouble in the long run so Thank you for watching the video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Thank you.